Chapter 1. Your dream can become an amazing reality. Think about this. You're in a room surrounded by all the things you like. You're doing the business that you love. You're making a lot of money, wearing good clothes, living in a beautiful house, and driving your dream car. Does this sound like your life right now? No? But it is possible to be that woman you just envisioned. It only takes time and determination to succeed. It took Sophia Amoruso eight years to go from a broke anarchist to a millionaire businesswoman who shares her life lessons with people all over the world. In a world filled with so many opportunities, there are quite a number of ways you can choose to make money once you let go of fear, laziness, or whatever is holding you back from putting in the work. Don't ever grow up. Don't become a bore. Don't let the man get to you. Sophia Amoruso This summary will teach you how to learn from yours and other people's mistakes. It will teach you when to quit when to ask for more, and when to ask questions. Soon you'll realize that nothing is as it seems and learn to not take anything at face value. Being a hashtag girl boss is possible, but it comes with a lot of learning and unlearning. Your strength lies in your knowledge and so does everything else. Keep reading to find out how Sophia Amoruso turned her life around for the better and how you can do the same and even more for yourself. Chapter 2 a hashtag girl boss gets what she wants by working for it. Your desire to be a hashtag girl boss is the first and easiest step toward an awesome life. It takes a lot of hard work to become one and even more hard work to remain so. A hashtag girl boss is someone who takes responsibility for herself. She values honesty over perfection and chooses her battles carefully. To make progress, you need to abandon old habits that might be holding you back. Learn to create your opportunities, bearing in mind that fortune favors action. You don't get taken seriously by asking people to take you seriously. You have to show up and seize your moment because when you believe in yourself, others will believe in you too. Upon discovering that she had a hernia in her groin, Amoruso decided to get a job since she needed health insurance to get treated. She found a job, checking IDs in the lobby of an art school, and had to work 90 days before the job benefits began. During this time, she had access to the internet and noticed she kept getting requests from eBay sellers who wanted to promote their vintage stores to her. As soon as she got the hernia treated, she decided to set up her store as she recuperated in her mother's house. The first thing she did was get a book, Starting an eBay Business for Dummies by Marsha Collier. This book taught her how to start her store on eBay, and inspired by her favorite album by Betty Davis, she named her store Nasty Gal Vintage. Sophia Amoruso grew up wearing vintage clothes and knew what she wanted the store to be. She took pictures of clothes she wanted to sell and sent them to prospective customers on eBay. With every passing week, she grew faster, smarter, and more aware of what women wanted. Every day, she added new friends on MySpace, haggled at malls to get the best prices, and attended auctions to get clothes at lower prices. What makes me successful wasn't necessarily what I sold, but how I sold it. Sophia Amoruso on the 13th of June, 2008, the Nasty Gal Vintage site launched and everything sold out the first day. Six months after launching the website, Sophia and Christina, Nasty Gal's buying director and the first employee Amoruso ever had, went to their first trade show in Las Vegas. They were able to come to a business agreement with other business owners with whom they shared similar ideas. 
Soon, Sofia Amoruso's exclusive vintage business became an online destination where girls could find not only vintage but other designer clothing at reasonable prices. Chapter 3 Getting an education is not a guaranteed path to success. If you're not good at it, try another route. As a kid, Sofia Amoruso did so many jobs in a short period, and this shaped her into an experienced young adult. Due to a change in her family's financial situation, they moved a lot, and this meant she attended 10 schools in her 12 years of education. These frequent changes made it hard to get along with people or places. It's pretty impossible to succeed while doing something you hate, and unless you're the child of a billionaire, work is something you have to do, so it makes sense to simply enjoy it. Although while trying to enjoy doing your job, you have to be willing to tolerate some things you don't like, at least for a while. The bad jobs make the good ones more meaningful because, in the long run, you'll appreciate your amazing career so much more when you look back at the not-so-amazing jobs you did in the past and realize you learned something from all of them. Unfortunately, most people don't land their dream job right out of college, which means you have to start somewhere. Our generation has been spoiled by our desires being no more than a click away. We think fast, type fast, and expect everything to happen as quickly. But, like everything, you have to work for what you want. The school system is generic. Not everyone can thrive in it. Many children are thought to have problems if they don't fit in, but in reality, school isn't for everyone. Like Sophia Amoruso, school might not be something you like. Recognize that and move on to other things. If you're not making good grades, don't let it kill your spirit. It doesn't mean that you are never going to succeed at anything. It just means your talents lie elsewhere. So take your time to seek out what you're good at and find a place where you can flourish. Chapter 4. Adulthood comes with responsibilities that do not just disappear because you don't like them. Learning how to manage your money is one of the most important things you'll ever do. As difficult as it may seem, it is crucial to stay on top of your bills so you don't ruin your credit and go broke again. There is no dignity quite so impressive and no independence quite so important as living within your means. Calvin Coolidge. Part of the reason Nasty Gal has been so successful is that Amoruso's goals were not just financial ones. She believed in what she was doing, and other people around her began to believe in it as well. At every point, no decision was too small, and every decision got adequate attention, but this wasn't always the case. At 17, Amoruso's parents were in the middle of a divorce when she decided to move out of her home. She decided to explore the world, and for a considerable part of her teenage years, she didn't know what she wanted and had a reputation for shoplifting. If you learn to control your finances, you won't find yourself stuck in jobs, places, or relationships you don't like because you can't afford to go elsewhere. Many people make the mistake of spending more than they have or increasing their expenses as soon as the income increases, but this is only going to lead to failure. You should always treat your savings account just like another bill that has to be paid every month so you don't miss out on any opportunity to prepare for the future. For many people, talking about money is uncomfortable because they feel they have too little or too much. But you must talk about it. Ask questions and seek answers so that you can grow financially. If you're frustrated because you're not getting what you want, stop for a second and just ask for it. The world can't read your mind, and so you have to always ask for what you want. 
For instance, if you work for someone and think you deserve a raise, ask for that raise, but ensure that you deserve it and be ready to prove this to your employer. The more you grow in your business, the more you realize that it is okay to spend extra on getting something that you want. Whether it's on an outfit or hiring an employee, these are investments into yourself and ultimately your business. When it comes to financial issues, try to separate your emotions from money as much as you can. Think calmly and make decisions as rationally as possible. Did you know the average American saves only 6.5% of their income? Chapter 5. Create a positive attitude by thinking positively about situations. By recognizing that you control your thoughts and that your thoughts control your life, you've discovered a vital recipe for growth. If you're always complaining about the things in your life, you might just be convinced that your life isn't so great, and you will be right. It is the age-old law of attraction. You get back what you put out, so you might as well think positive and focus on what you want instead of getting distracted by what you do not want. You can visualize and project yourself into the professional and personal life that you want by merely thinking about it. Each time you make a good decision or do something nice or take care of yourself, each time you show up to work and try your best at everything, you are planting seeds for a life that you can only hope will grow beyond your wildest dreams. Sophia Amoruso Keep reminding yourself of what you want, and you'll soon find that the more you know what you want, the less you are willing to put up with what you don't. Your feelings have an effect on the outcome of everything you do, and the more you focus on the negative, the more you ignore and eventually lose the positive things in your life. It also applies that the more you think about people, the more you give them power over you, and the more negative thoughts you have about business competition, the more you lose concentration. You have to stop thinking about the things or people that you do not want in your life because naturally, you'll encounter people who are different from you, and it is entirely up to you to decide how much time you spend thinking about them. Don't be so focused on one particular opportunity that you're blind to the other ones that come up. Focus on the positive things in your life and you'll be shocked at how many more positive things start happening. Chapter 6. Go the extra mile to be different from others in a good way. Your challenge as a hashtag girl boss is to try new things out without getting attached to the results. When your goal is to gain experience, perspective, and knowledge, failure is no longer a possibility. You will discover that there is a benefit to everything, and once you begin to see it, you will want to try out things. Life isn't about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. George Bernard Shaw if you listen to the world, you're likely to fail, but if you have enough confidence to define success and failure for yourself, you succeed. There's freedom in choosing what you want. When you stop feeling like you don't belong anywhere and realize that you belong wherever you want to be, you'll be better for it. Nasty Gal encourages girls to choose what fashion means to them because everyone deserves to connect to their real selves. Everyone's path in life is different in so many ways. Trying to fit into another person's image will not only distort your dreams, but it will also have you putting effort into the wrong things. You can execute that business idea differently and still make so much profit from it. You can wear that odd colored dress and still look amazing. All you need to do is decide. The moment you choose to do something for yourself, you are choosing you, and that is the most important thing you'll ever have to do. Your life doesn't have to be tailored to another person's standards. 
Those always change. Instead, choose to do something your future self will be thankful for. Chapter 7. The way you present yourself to others is the same way you'll be regarded. A cover letter is your first opportunity to make an impression on your future boss. It provides a glimpse into your personality and can separate you from others. Having a can-do attitude always sets you apart from other people. Ensure it reflects in the way you talk, dress, or even describe your abilities. If you want to have an amazing cover letter that attracts your employer's attention, you should take note of these. Don't emphasize what the job you're applying for can do for you or your career. Instead, talk about what value you can offer the company. Don't leave out essential details. Connect the gaps in your application that you think will benefit your employer. Don't detail all the flaws of the company you're applying to in your cover letter. Keep it simple and professional. Try to use spell checks and get someone to read through what you've written to ensure you aren't making any mistakes. As a hashtag girl boss, your resume should be as good as it can get. Let your resume reflect your personality and zeal to work for the company. After you send a cover letter, you might get called for an interview. Take time to grow your profile on LinkedIn. Be prepared to answer real-life questions without being excessively descriptive and generally be at your best. If you're already an employer and find it difficult to fire someone, you need to remember not to over-explain, apologize too much, or take it too personally. It is always a good idea to put yourself in your employee's shoes and make it as quick as possible. Bear in mind that even if you don't get a job or an opportunity on the first try, more opportunities will come and you will try again. Chapter 8. In business, you're allowed to make as many changes as you want until you find a model that works for you. Starting a business can be risky, but it is more so when you have a lot of overhead costs and debts. When you begin with a finish line in mind, you tend to miss out on all the fun. In e-commerce, you have to get everything right from the start, and when you start small, this is possible. Things may come to those who wait, but only the things left by those who hustle. Abraham Lincoln As a startup, just do a good job. Listen to your customers and genuinely care about them because they can tell the difference between a concerned business owner and one who is only out for their money. Also, keep your promises to them. Whatever they see online should be the same thing they see when they receive their delivery. Every customer wants to connect with you, and you can do that by being close to them through social media. Always give them something to remember you by. Also, ensure that everything representing your brand is unique. From your theme to picking the right captions for your pictures, you have to be creative. If you're waiting for a validation of your ideas from someone else, you may never make progress. Just take a step and keep going. Chapter 9. Measure your progress against your past status to see how far you've come. Research has shown that every month in the United States, more than half a million new businesses spring up, but 80% will crash within the first year and a half. These statistics can be scary, but if you don't try, you'll never know. You might just be in the 20% that succeeds. These numbers are enough for you to think about the things that make you different from others. You need a winning strategy, one that transcends difficulties and setbacks. Creating momentum is crucial as it provides a foundation for your ideas. Don't be bothered by the fact that you have few friends or you're not an extrovert. Your thoughts and everything about you matters even when it's not the loudest. In fact, studies have shown that introverts don't make risky financial decisions. 
Instead, they try their best to solve problems and are extremely creative. Regardless of what your dreams are, if you listen only to those around you, the chances of them coming true are quite slim. You have to make sacrifices and compromises, fail, and continue to try to succeed. Judge yourself based on your personal best and strive to accomplish more than you ever imagined. Once you find success, don't stop to rest on your laurels. Instead, make the short time you have on Earth count by doing even more. Your world is entirely yours to create. You wield a fantastic power of choice over different options that life presents. Always choose what makes you happy. Conclusion Look up and look around, and if you're not finding something inspiring, then you're probably not looking hard enough. Sophia Amoruso Does owning your business, dream car, and dream home look feasible now? As entertaining as life is, you're not here forever. As a hashtag girl boss, you have to make every moment count. Look out for what interests you and explore it until you can change your life through it. It doesn't have to be vintage clothes or shoes. Whatever excites you and keeps you up at night is your magic. Every good thing requires that you work hard for it. Being a hashtag girl boss is no exception. The moment you decide to put a stop to the so many negatives and welcome the positive things, you are saying yes to financial independence, success, and freedom. Try this. Visualize a better version of yourself. You could print notes out to remind yourself daily of your goals. Also, edit your resume and include any essential things you've left out.